Hi, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I do one thing, business litigation, and that means that my business is to protect your business. Today I want to talk about litigation strategy. When it comes to litigation, you know, a lot of a lot of clients think that you know what they really need is a shark. They need someone who's going to go in there and bully everyone and they're going to win their case because they just have that dominant personality. And a lot of times that's just not the right way to go about things. Okay, you don't always need a shark. Now, I had this case right now. And I took it over from another attorney. Now, the other attorney, I think he was newer, I've heard. I never met him, never really spoke with him. Um, but he wanted to bully his way. He didn't want to give the other side anything. And, you know, and they were never able to work anything out. Now, to back up, this is over, um, you know, my client lent money to another person, a lot of money, uh, and had a piece of property, a security. Now, the person decided they don't want to pay back any of the money, right? So that led to the litigation. So what the previous attorney had done is he had got an injunction against the property that was securing it. Uh, so they weren't able to do anything with the property. They weren't able to sell it. They weren't able to collect any money on it. They weren't able to do anything. Okay? Good strategy if you want to mess them up. Bad strategy if your goal is to get money for your client. Okay? The case is almost a full year old and almost nothing has happened besides litigation, meaning motion and just a lot of posturing. Now, my client saw early on the case was not going at all where she wanted to go. She wasn't being kept in touch. With, you know, the attorney was leaving her alone. Wasn't telling her anything. So she, they end up moving on and they hire me. Now, my strategy, I look into it. There's a few things in, in my client's favor. They've got a confession and judgment for the amount of the money. Um, you know, they had the promissory note. They, you know, so proving the case isn't a problem. Getting the money is. Now, before I came on, they had, you know, very minimal settlement talks where out of almost three quarters of a million dollar owed, they wanted to pay back 6000 a month. Right? My grandkids will be in school by the time that gets paid off. So what I do is I call up the other attorney on the other side saying, listen, what's the, how are we resolving this? And we've come up with a nice little solution that they're going to sell the property. It's worth way more than my client is owed. Um, and at the end of the day, my client is going to get her money through the proceeds of the closing. Now, hopefully it sells fast, but I have also things built in to that settlement agreement. Meaning, you know, if it sells within a certain amount of time, my client will get X amount of money. They'll get more money if it takes longer to sell. It's all built in. And I've still kept my client protected because we still have a, what's called a notice of pendency. A notice of pendency means you can't sell the property without my permission, my client's permission, uh, at least in, in regards to this. So I have still had the security of the property. I've worked out a settlement and my client's going to get paid as soon as the property is sold. Most likely, and they're going to put it up for sale, you know, basically as soon as we sign the settlement papers. It's going to happen a lot quicker than if you just sat through litigation and tried to be a shark and win everything by motion. Because let's just say I did that. Let's say I, I just sat down and I won everything, you know, six months down the road, a year down the road, you know, I, I finally have a piece of paper saying I have a X amount judgment. What do I have to do then? I have to go after the money, right? Because they're not just going to go, oh, I lost. Here's the check. This, no, this isn't a game of Monopoly. They don't just hand over the money. So now you have to chase them around. And, you know, if all their money's tied up in buildings or if they're in other lawsuits, it could be years and years before I ever see that money. So now my client's won, but she doesn't have anything to show for it. So, like I said, you know, if you really think it through, you know, you get a lawyer who knows their strategy, they're going to find a solution that works for their client and their client's needs. Okay. So at the end of the day, you can tell I got a little off track here. Going forward, you know, strategy is something that every attorney needs to think about, but not everyone thinks about it well. Now, if you'd like to hear more from me, want to discuss a case, you know, want to discuss litigation strategy, you can always sign up to call, uh, sign, you can always click on my link 
and you can uh, set an appointment with me. You can always go to jdelaw.nyc backslash scheduling a consultation. All right, until next time, take care. And remember, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business.